Seattle, Washington, United States, a bustling city like many others. Filled with crime, pollution and a large population of people who use tons of energy and water to live. Seattle is undergoing change and becomes a smart city. Using IoT to help improve the living conditions of a big city environment. IoT smart city technology in Seattle is being used to reduce carbon emissions from 45% of buildings. Implement adaptive transportation systems where traffic lights adjust to changing road and weather conditions. To monitor rainfall in real time, giving flood warnings alerts to keep people safe. And to make more efficient use of water with smart park watering. Even police officers are equipped with body cameras to improve safety. And gunshot detection technology determines where shots are fired. IoT devices are everywhere but they aren't just used for smart city related technologies. From Google Home, Fitbit, Apple iPhone and laptops, you are already using IoT devices every day. In fact, Ericsson predicts that there will be 30 billion IoT devices in use around the world by 2023. IoT devices are spanning industries like transportation, retail, healthcare, agriculture, smart homes, smart cities and wearables. But what exactly are IoT devices? How do they work? I'm Ronald van Loon. I'm a consultant, blogger, vlogger, webinar host and a keynote speaker. I'm helping businesses achieve digital transformation and helping you to understand some of the most innovative and exciting technologies out there today. Let's take a closer look. Aside from IoT devices that you already know, like your laptop, smart home devices, or your smartphone, there are some amazing IoT devices out there with very compelling, useful applications. The Internet of Things is creating a connected network of data between people, devices, and businesses through digital devices that are connected to the Internet. Embedded sensors in objects connect to the Internet and generate information, collecting and exchanging data in real time. These sensors collect and send information, which help people to make more intelligent decisions, make improvements to that technology or monitor conditions. Here is a new invention enabled by IoT. Take a look at these headphones from AuraX. They are changing the way audio and visuals are combined with mobile computing. It uses disruptive transparent retinal projection technology, featuring a hands-free screen over your eye that contains the same applications as your smartphone. This is an incredible advancement in technology enabled by IoT or the Internet of Things. But IoT devices aren't just used for fun, fitness or work. SAP and Trenitalia are improving safety, maintenance and efficiency for train transportation systems using IoT sensors. By connecting IoT sensors to brakes, wheels, doors and engines, they can monitor the life cycle data from parts within the train and actually predict when parts are wearing down and provide maintenance before they break down. As you can see, IoT devices are helping to greatly improve our lives. And we are going to continue to see a vast amount of IoT applications in the future. Thanks for joining me today for our discussion about IoT. I'm Ronald van Loon and this is The Intelligent World. If you liked the video, don't forget to like, subscribe and share.